So Juan, check up with you guys again. And we here on part three of the POS and inventory section of the video. And let's go ahead and begin immediately. So as I was saying in part two at the end, uh, once you reach this section here, uh, where you have the orders that have been submitted via online you see here that you have the option to view this this order so let's go ahead and view an order it gives us a preview of what is going on with this particular order in other words it tells us what the item was it gives you an order number it gives you the ability to go ahead and email this customer uh, with the receipt or for you to be able to print it. So let's go ahead and hit print for the sake of this conversation. At this point, we are able, because we have it set up for save to PDF, as you see here, which shows us a presentation of the entire receipt, um, name of the, you know, the person, the uh, name of the item, price and time and date and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and move on. So let's go ahead and click on the order number 448. As you see, we get the same representation as going over to the view section. Let's go ahead and click on the customer now. Let's click on, on, the, on the actual customer. At this point, you can see that it gives us the database of the client or the customer that actually this, uh, did the transaction online. And it gives us the option here to also edit uh, a certain aspects of it. So let's say that we want to change this to test. Well, I don't want to. Well, let's just put 13. We can go ahead and change that. We go ahead and save changes. Now, the reason why we are being we are doing this right now at this moment in time is because we are logging in as France, and France the, that means that you have the authority to go ahead and edit that. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, here, as you can see, we also have these little little squares here with a little character there. And if we click here, what this is going to do is that this is going to allow us to read whatever comment was written there. You see, floor being wet over here. I'll be there to pick up my order in about 20 minutes. So as we can see, this helps out a lot so that we know exactly what we're doing when we are processing these online orders and these customers are, that are coming by we know who's who and what's what now you can do this in many different ways you can go ahead and print out the receipt because that's the reason why you're looking at the receipt it's giving you that option and you print it and then attach it to whatever the bag or box uh, that you're packaging these items in um, so that way there's no mix up and also it serves as the, as an as a note that you can take with you through the aisles if you have aisles where you have a lot of storage a lot of liquor bottles a lot of merchandise products it gives you the option to have that list with you so that you don't make no mistakes in the order because remember a, a, a order that you take your time to fill is a happy means a happy customer a happy customers is going to give positive reviews now why are reviews important to us as a business? Well, reviews tell the customer, hey, you can trust this business in row, you know, 21B. Or run away from there because those people, they treat you bad, they, they confuse your orders, they charge you extra money. And those are reviews that other people see when they're going to come and visit your location. So what am I trying to say here to the admin staff? What I'm trying to say is every individual customer counts we want to make sure that every single customer is a happy camper because this day and age people leave feedback and we want those feedback to mean five stars not four i'm not satisfied with four and a half four and three quarters four and one fourth five stars is what we need and if we have the mentality that that's, what, that's our goal, then we're going to train our staff, 
right, to make sure that they provide the best customer service possible to our clients so that we can build good rapport with our customers and, and grow our business. All right, so let's go back to menu. Customers, you could get through there, but you, you could get it through here, same thing. The over here just gives you a, a kind of a panorama of the complete email, last name, first name, you know, uh, money that that customer spent with you in your business, the orders that they have uh, had, uh, the last order that they ordered, and it gives us the ability here to go ahead and edit. So this is practically pretty much self-explanatory, okay? So let's go ahead and move on. Now let's go here to coupons. This is a section where you can create a coupon or look at whatever coupons are listed. So in this case, we don't have any coupon codes. So if we did have coupon codes, we will actually see the, uh, the coupon code. And then it will give us the coupon type, the coupon, the coupon amount of discount, the description about what it's about, the products IDs that it, you can use that coupon on, and the user's lim limit. In other words, you can do a coupon that can that can can act as more than one item or more than one time of purchase or you can have a coupon that the customer uses and as soon as the customer uses that coupon that coupon is no longer valid the other way would be that coupon is valid through the, the whole week so the entire week the customers coming here we're giving them a 10 percent discount a 20 percent discount a one percent discount whatever that is they have the whole entire week that they can use that one coupon to to do their transactions via POS which is in store or via a uh, shopping cart online all right so let's go ahead and move on we could also search so you know we got the search there all right and that's basically it this is the this is the parameters where you're staying within coupons to POS coupons to POS everything here is stuff that has to do with what I do okay so you guys don't want to go in here and cause havoc and then I have to charge you a billion dollars to fix it up so we want to stay within coupons and POS okay all right so let's go ahead and go back so at this point we have reviewed everything that has to do with the POS system okay and let's go ahead from here, oh, I, I, I skipped this one. From here, we can actually add a customer as well, as you can see. All right. So this gives us the ability in the store to add the customer. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to POS. Now, when we go to POS, sometimes you're going to get a pop-up that comes up here. It's because since I had to restrict this, um, by using a CSS code, um, I'm overrunning the HTML5 code to try to force this to do something that it wasn't meant to do. So sometimes you're going to get an error here that's going to give you a red box. It's going to say uh, that you're not able to do certain things. But once you click on the stuff, you'll be able to do it. But in certain places where you got the register, which is an employee, it's not going to allow them to do it. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go here, search for the products, right? Um, they, I believe that I, I did that video already, but just for quick, yeah, yeah, I did it with the Coca-Cola Zero Bottle. So I'm going to bring this video to an end on your POS internal um, system. Thank you again for your time.